frequently asked questions on the social arm of the church. 1. What is the social arm of the church? The social arm of the organization is established by the church to carry out the social mandate alongside the spiritual mandate in line with the dual mandate of Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. 2. How can a church set up her social arm? A church can set up a social arm through a collaboration process with Palace of Priests Assembly PPA, by inviting PPA to provide all the relevant training and technical support. The church will select a suitable name for the organization to be so established. 3. Can other organizations assist churches to set up the social arm? Yes, but the only organization currently helping churches to set up the social arms in Nigeria is the Palace of Priests Assembly. 4. Which church can set up a social arm? Every church that is interested in working with the dual mandate of Jesus Christ can set up the social arm of the church. 5. What are the benefits of setting up a social arm? There are both tangible and intangible benefits, spiritual and secular benefits in setting up the social arm of the church. It will help churches work on bringing about increase in knowledge of the dual mandate of Christ, engage in social issues especially in the campaign against corruption in Nigeria. 6. What experience, expertise is required to run the social arm of the church? The social arm of the church can be administered and operated by believers in the church who have experience on social issues advocacy. The first step is to identify them. Palace of Priests will also undertake to provide basic training for running the social arm. 7. Must the social arm of the church be registered? The church registration can serve for the social arm but with the demands of the Corporate and Allied Matters Act CAMA, 2020, it is important to register it separately. This implies that the social arm will have its name and a separate identity. 8. Can the social arm of the be used to raise funds for programmatic works? Yes, organizations with knowledge of fundraising can use the social arm to raise funds for their programs. 9. Is there a specific programmatic focus for the social arm of the church? No, there is no specific programmatic focus. There are so many social issues, that a social arm can take on including democracy, poverty, humanitarian crisis, electricity, housing, education, health, election, anti-corruption, and conflict. But it is advisable to start in the areas where the organization has some degree of knowledge. As you develop more capacity and competence, you can now work in other areas. It is good to have comprehensive coverage from the beginning. 10. What contributions can Palace of Priests Assembly PPA, provide in setting up the social arm? The contribution from Palace of Priests is limited to the provision of the resource materials and the technical support for setting up the social arm. This will include training on the guidelines for setting up the social arm and the strategic plan of the church. 11. Does PPA provide fund for the running of the social arm? No, the support of Palace of Priests Assembly is limited to what is specified in question 7 above. 12. Will PPA pay for logistics for training and setting up the social arm? No, each church will be responsible for the logistics for training her staff to understand the process required for setting up the social arm. Thanks for watching.